Well, Jerry, let me ask you what you're doing uh, today. And uh, i got to tell you, I love your photography. It uh, is especially fun to look back at some of the candids of the uh, of the Browns. Some of your pictures of Lyle Alzado are great. Uh, you know, and you've got uh, got shots. Well, your equipment manager, you were mentioning him, the shot of him just sitting there on the stool. Many of these shots are candid shots. It uh, is fun looking at uh, Clay Matthews as a young rookie. Uh, just different things like that that are, oh, love the old picture of the, uh, the old Cleveland stadium that you posted. What got you interested in photography like that? Well, I, uh, during my career, a couple of times I got injured, uh, late in my career and I wasn't one just to sit around, Carl, I had to be doing something. So I would talk to these uh, photographers that came in the locker room and I would, I had an interest in photography, so I'd ask him about equipment and so forth. And one of them, uh, Ronnie Coons, took me under his wing and actually taught me how to be a photographer, you know, how to take black and white pictures and go through the dark room. And in fact, when I retired from football for about seven years, I had my own photography business. So when I was playing football, especially the last couple years, and then I actually, for the NFL for Pro Magazine in 1983, and I retired in 81, but in 83 I went back and I spent two weeks uh, with the Cleveland Browns in training camp and, and shot you know, thousands of pictures at that time. But I have some, some earlier ones. I wasn't quite as good a photographer, but every once in a while I would get kind of lucky or I would see you know something, see the, a, a certain situation, and I would take a, take a photograph, and now... You know, I, and I switch gears. I'm in the, the youth mentoring field. I have a d- degree in psychology, and I help youth mentoring programs uh, mostly. Uh, but I began uh, a couple months ago digging through old photographs, and I realized, like, I've got, like, twenty or 30,000 photographs. I sent a few to the Browns, and they really liked them, so they want me to have an exhibition there at a college uh, this December. My son is... Uh, in the field of scanning and restoring photographs. So he's he's helping me do that. And we're just finding all kinds of stuff that just didn't mean anything to me back then. But as I look at him today, it's like, wow, yeah, well, that guy, you know, he was a middle linebacker, a crazy middle linebacker, but now he's a Cleveland judge. So I guess it means something when he puts uh, easy tape, uh, you know, rolls up tape in his eyeballs and squints at the camera. It looks, you know, <laughs> since he's a judge, maybe. <laughs> Maybe that would be interesting. And I've got, uh, I had a younger teammate named Bill Cower. Yes. And of course, he became a great coach for the Steelers and won the Super Bowl. So I've, I've got all kinds of pictures of him, and they're so expressive. Uh, we called him Face, F A C E, because he just had that face that looked so different all the time. So I found tons of pictures of him, like gnawing on a chicken bone at at dinner, at, uh, you know, training camp, looking at the camera and smiling and having, you know, grease on his chin and stuff like that. Uh, and then pictures of the great Hall of Famer, Ozzie Newsom, who was a younger teammate. Uh, Marty, Marty Schottenheimer, who was an assistant coach that became a great head coach in the NFL. So I'm looking at these pictures in, in a completely different way. And they're, they're really a lot of fun to go through. And I think the, the photo exhibit will be great. And just a a quick note, if people want to go to Facebook, type in the search engine Jerry Shirk Athlete, which my son created the site for this page, uh, my page will come up. And if you click on like, then you can um, get those photographs. And I I tend to put five to seven to ten up a week. Well, I always anticipate when you do. Uh, as an example, I had no idea the connection between you and Bill Cower until you posted his photo. And, you know, some light bulbs started going on, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. And so I would imagine the connections that you have with so many people who, uh, and some are still in the game today, but some of the uh, old pros that we uh, look back on and remember, I mean, you know, this you ought to have a book about that, you know? I do. In fact, I mentioned it to my wife last night. She said, I don't know, this photo project has really taken a long time. I don't know what a book would do, but uh, I, I would I would love to do a book, and I've had several several people contact me and, and talk about that. It, it would take some time, but I, you know, for me, I think it would be tremendous. I would love to have them all together and, and uh, kind of weave 
weave in and narrate a story through all of them. Oh, yeah. And just to think this all started in Grants Pass, Oregon, with the, the cavemen. And, yeah. it, you know, we talked about the cavemen earlier, but, you know, I'm, I'm a caveman for life. I grew up, and the cavemen are on my hard drive. And when we went to other stadiums around the country, even professionally, every once in a while, one of them, for their fight song, would have whatever the name of that song was for the Grants Pass Caveman. And every time I came on, even as a <laughs> pro or a band started playing it, I would start to go, oh, yeah, where are the cavemen? Yeah. And I would get the chills going up and down my back a little bit. Yeah, running down the line of rally girls there and bursting through that paper sign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was every yeah. kid's dream. Yeah. And I can, you know, I remember going to the caveman games when my uncle Ivan was playing, and I was about... Uh, five or six years old, and I didn't know anything about the game. In fact, I remember sitting there, and I guess through the the, uh, the East Stand, and there was a penalty, and uh, somebody declined it, and I thought, that's really darn nice of them to decline the penalty. <laughs> <laughs> they must feel like they're really far ahead. <laughs> that's a great story. Well, Jerry, this has been fun. It's been just kind of a, a dream for me to uh, get you on the air and uh, give you an opportunity to say hi to the home folks and uh, talk about your career. I know we could go another hour if we wanted to. We'll save and do that another time. Okay, we'd love to do that. And and hello to all those people there in Grants Pass and the Rogue Valley. And such a, a beautiful place to live. And in some ways, I'll always you know feel it's, it's my home. I had 17 years there from zero to 17 and so I, I i feel like i'm part of those folks you bet do you remember your address on conklin of course 1029 all right 1029 <laughs> the reason i mention that is i just want the uh, person who's listening today living at 1029 uh, north uh, northwest conklin to say oh my goodness jerry shirk slept here <laughs> <laughs> we actually went back uh i was back for some kind of uh uh class reunion years ago and we went by the house and knocked on the door and they were very gracious and you know we walked through the house my dad actually built the house himself oh uh almost a, you know every part of it except for the the, the uh, electric uh, but i walked in my bedroom and i thought gosh this is just tiny how did i ever sleep here in this little tiny room yeah just, yeah seems, everything room. seems so much bigger than Oh, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Well, uh, make sure you uh, say hello to your family for me. Say hi to Mike. I uh, follow his exploits there on uh, Facebook anytime he uh, shows up on your site there. Okay, he's smiling now because he's in the other room listening. So, uh, okay, thanks so much, Carl. You bet, Jerry. Let's, let's, let's please, again sometime. You bet. Please say hello to your mom. I don't know if she'll remember me, but uh, run my name by her anyway and tell her thanks. It was a great fifth grade year at Island. Well, she's... If you're one of the kids that she broke a ruler over their wrist, she'll probably remember you. Yeah, more than likely, that was me. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Jerry, thank you. Thanks, Carl. So long. All right, there you go. That's something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Jerry Shirk graduated Grants Pass High back in 1966, went on to a great collegiate career and a fantastic pro career with the Cleveland Browns.